Okay, hey, I'm Craig with Livingston Welding, and today we're going to talk about pins. Um, specifically, this is a landing gear pin that come out of a logging trailer, and they uh, people don't leave them in. Sometimes, like this one's a dowel type setup where it's supposed to have a little dowel that sits in here, and this is what retains the pin and keeps them falling out when they're going down the highway. And they fall out, and then this falls out in the road, and then it dangles, and the chain breaks off, and they lose them. This one actually was found in the highway. Um, but there's a few different styles. The one we're going to make is not exactly this style. We're going to make one very similar to this style. It's a little bit smaller rod, but I'm going to go through the steps of basically how to remake one of these in the field. All right, like I said before, there's about three different si three different types of dowel. I mean, three different types of landing gear pins for these trailers, and uh, the one like I mentioned earlier was a dowel pin. to have one of these dowels on the end of it that retains it and how that works it slides in here you got to turn it up and then gravity with the weight of this hand keeps it down so it stays locked but if that dowel falls out then of course this just slides out on its own it falls in the highway all right so this is the next style pin that we have on this particular yard and this one works basically on the same premise but they use i think they took a washer maybe like an inch and a half washer because this is uh, inch and a quarter rod I believe so maybe like an inch and a quarter washer and they nip them in half and they welded it on here and then they got a little piece of channel iron they stuck up here how that works you put it upside down put it in upside down and then the gravity keeps it locked in there and it can't come out I had the weight of the landing gear still sitting on it so it wouldn't really move in and out very well but so that's basically the three types we have All right, so I got my cold cut saw here and this is an inch and an eighth rod which is what fits the trailer pin that we're going to make and so I'm going to stick it in the saw, crank it the weld machine and we're going to whack out one of these. I think with the bend it had to be something like 15 inches long. I don't have to recheck my piece of paper but. Alright so I'm just going to measure from this end. I did not consult my drawing. Uh, this pin's nine and a half. 5 inch bin, so that's 14 and a half inches. So I'm just going to go off this rough end, this rough factory cut, because I'm going to actually bevel this end down really good so it doesn't really matter. And run it back to, what did I say, 14 and a half? 14 and a half. And let's check it up. And that's close enough. Not building the clock today. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is take the grinder and I'm going to bevel this in right here while it's flat because it's easier for me to roll it across the truck and put a nice bevel on here than it would be for me to put the bend in here and then try to bevel this a lot harder. So while I got it here, I'm going to go ahead and bevel this in. a little bit this is going to be the hand in whereas I'm going to weld the chain too so I just did a little small bevel in there simple easy and then on this other end I put a nice big bevel on it this then we're going to be shoving it in and it needs to go in nice and easy so I put a nice big bevel make it easy to easy to get in and out and then now we're going to set it up in the hole that it goes in I think so this will be easy to hold it and then I'm going to stick a piece of pipe on the end we're going to heat it up with the torch and we're going to bend a 90 in it somewhere along in here I think. Check that drawing again. Right. And torch tip on here now. We're going to swap this out to the rosebud tip to give us some more heating power for that big old piece of rod.
All right, so we're just gonna stick this in here through both sides, and then I'm gonna heat this up right here. This is where my, this is where the inside of my bin needs to be, and then we got five inches out this way. So I'm gonna heat it up good, probably on both sides of this bin. And anyway, I'm gonna stick a piece of pipe over it when it get good and hot, and I'm just gonna bend it up. And so I got this piece of pipe. It's like a, I don't know, just something big enough, inch and a half piece of pipe I can stick over the top of the inch and an eight piece of rod and give me some leverage so I can bend it. So I'll set it to the side until I'm ready and I'm going to bend it right there on that mark. Now we got a 90 bin in it. Now all we need to do is make up a little piece for a retainer to slip in the little slot right here. As you can see on the bottom right here, they got one for here. So we just got to make up a little piece that that sits on the bottom here. So when you slide it down, it'll retain this. Uh, it'll retain this pin, and then we're gonna weld it to there, and that's it. trying to find just a uh, just a nice thick washer that I can use for a piece for a retainer because that's just nice and easy to make in the field and in the field you're always trying to find the easiest thing you can use to make your life easier. That's what I'm looking for. I know I got some big old U-bolt spring bolts. I used to have some in here washers that would be perfect for this application if I could find them but I may have cleaned out the truck in recent. There's not quite as much junk on here so I may not have it. But I'll find something. Not find the washers that I was looking for, so I'm about to make something. I got a little piece of 3 16th flat bar right here, so I'm gonna whittle out a little uh, half circle thing that I can weld on there that'll retain that pin. What I was doing there is I was. Just uh, cut me out a little quarter to put in the um, in the vending machine so I can get free drink. No, actually, I was just making me a template so I could um, trace this out from a little piece I got to make from my retainer from my pen. So I'm going to weld to the pin first and then I'm going to go back and round these corners off so it'll work right.
before I put it on there, this old vice is a piece of junk, but it's actually holding today. So all this thing now we're gonna stick it on there and kind of test fit and make sure to go in the slot it's supposed to right, so the idea is this thing should slide around this without getting stuck which it's not doing so I'm gonna go take some meat off the back end of it like it's getting stuck right here on the back so I'm gonna take a little meat off the back piece of there so it should come on around this on and we're done. Alright, so what I'm going to do to get this thing stood up, I'm going to put a little tag right in the very, very center of this thing. That way I can still move this a little bit if I need to to make it work.
a bit of aggravating with little chains and little thingy thingies. Um, we got it working, so here it is. So, slide it in, spin it around, and then the gravity of the chain and all to hold it in there. It's pretty hot, but yeah. We got chain welded on there, nice and good, and coming off. Good. Done. Deal. Little paint. Last little paint on there, make it all nice and pretty, and that's it. So, hope you've enjoyed our build for today. Um, and if you liked it, subscribe, click that link button, some kind of button, punch them, hit them. You know what they're talking about, hit those buttons. Thanks, guys.